has a gun. He has a gun. Witness video sent to City News shows the frightening moment at Mark Garneau Collegiate Institute after reports that a gun was seen inside the school. He has a gun. It was like a really terrifying experience for me that I've never experienced before. This student, who would like to remain anonymous, says she was inside the gymnasium when a fight broke out between students. The guy, um, he got into a fight and got punched uh, on the mouth, which he was bleeding, and he went, he ran towards his backpack to um, pick up something, I believe. She says shortly after she heard screams that someone had a gun. She says she ran out looking for safety. I just ran, like, I got into the change room and the teachers locked the doors. It was, like, really scary. Police were called to the school near Don Mills and Overly Boulevard around 1230 this afternoon for reports that someone saw a gun. Investigators would not confirm whether or not a gun was found at the scene, only saying that a student is in custody. The information we originally had was that there was a gun seen, but the circumstances of that is still under investigation. The incident comes after this same school was placed under a hold and secure following a lunch hour shooting near the school on Monday. This also follows multiple violent incidents at GTA schools over the last few months, something education workers unions have spoken out on. The TDSB says they are working to address the dangerous trend. This is an issue that involves the school board as part of the community. And it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of work and a lot of action between the school board and all its community partners and SafeTO and the ministry and all levels of government. There has been two lockdowns in only one week since we came back from school. And it, um, I feel like it's continuing on. There's a lot of fight and there's a lot of threats coming from the school. So I really don't feel safe in it. Now, both lockdown and hold and secure have since been lifted. Police say that no injuries have been reported. And in terms of how the TDSB will be addressing this growing violence, they say that they're putting together an expert reference group that will consist of different officials from different levels of government, along with community groups to address and hopefully take care of what's been happening.